Hello everyone, welcome to part 75 of Laravel 10 series in which we are first creating the e-commerce dynamic panel and we will continue working on the home page dynamic banners in which slider as well as fix banners included. Once again, I want to show you that in our template, it's the main thing at the home page. Here you can see the slider banners, okay, and here you can see the fix banners, okay. So uh, all these banners we are going to manage dynamically from the admin panel so that the client can able to update them uh, from time to time and client don't require the developers help okay so uh, uh, so uh, in the last video uh, what we have done so far we have created the banners table okay you can see the we have created the banners table and we have also inserted few of the banners few of the dummy banners uh, with cedar so that we can show in the admin panel okay so uh, now we are going to show in this video uh, we are going to show the banners module in the end panel we are going to display these banners in the end panel so that we can uh, able to uh, uh, able to view uh, able to add edit and delete and un unable disable as well okay so all these things we can able to do uh, after displaying the banners in the end panel so in this video we are going to display the banners in the, in the end panel along with the active inactive status and also we will work on the delete functionality and in the next video we are going to work on the add edit banner functionality okay in next in these two videos we want to finish and one more video maybe uh, for the permission but we are going to see that if we, we can able to cover in these two videos and after that we will start working on the front end and i want to tell you that the coupons module we will do whenever we have completed up till card page because that is the requirement at the card page so that we will do later in the admin panel so we are going to modify the admin panel side by side so don't worry okay so let's complete first banners module and rest we are going to see okay so uh, now first thing is we want to create the controller banners controller we want to create inside the admin okay so for that uh, i will run here uh artisan command project 10 is our folder services new terminal folder and here we are going to run php artisan make controller and inside admin i'm going to create the controller banners controller okay so i'm going to create this file banners controller i'm going to check whether the file has been created correctly and yes the file has been created and after that uh, i'm going to create the route as well uh, for for displaying the banner i will create after brands this banners route okay route get route i'm going to create the get route for displaying the banners and here the banners will come then banners controller banners controller okay so after this uh, banners we are going to uh, we'll see the banners okay so sorry banners here like this so in banners controller these banners uh, i'm going to check out the, these banners and public uh, function and these banners i'm going to create this function in banners controller and now see uh, i'm going to uh, call all the banners going to get all the banners here whether active or inactive banner uh, is the model okay uh, that we have created in the last video get and two array okay so all this banner after getting this banner we are going to return and the uh, banners uh, blade file we are going to create shortly and return turn view and here we are uh, we will create the admin inside admin we will create the banners folder and inside banner we will create the banners blade file and in that banners blade file we are going to return this banners array okay that contains all the banners okay we uh, sorry uh with compact sorry what i'm doing with compact okay so like this here i am going to return these banners okay that's it okay so now uh, i'm going to create this banners folder and inside that i'm going to create the banners blade file as well resources views admin and here i'm going to create the banners folder okay and inside this folder i'm going to create the banners file okay i'm going to create the new file uh new file uh, okay so uh, there is another way to create the file banners new terminal folder here in mac we can also create the file like this touch 
uh, then I'm going to name the file like uh, banners dot blade dot php uh, okay so in Mac we uh, the Mac users is required to uh, create the file like this but if you are in window you know how to create the file how to create the new file you can simply go inside the folder and that right click uh, new new text file you can create and then rename it with the banners.blade.php okay so that file i'm going to open this file here banner.blade.php file and here i will copy from some other like i will copy from the brands i uh, so uh, see i i don't want to spend too much time in this so that's why i'm going to copy this one and then we can make the changes we will get the admin design that table data table also everything we will get and here we can simply use this one and here i'm going to check all and we'll replace it with the banners okay like this and here also everywhere we are going to do it like this we're going to replace the brands with the banners and along with that uh, this brand also we are going to replace it with the banner banner okay and I'm, I'm going to search for brand yeah yeah still left i'm going to replace it with the banner like this and now i will check once again it's all done okay so now i will do the further changes banners banners fine and here uh i am going to uh, like uh, will not give any name but i will give the image here id image and type of the banner we can also open that table uh okay so that we will have the better idea so yeah image after image type type of the banner whether slider fix okay or any other type you can do it like this and after type uh link oh, yeah link of the banner okay so link after link uh, title title of the banner not all things we are going to display here okay so you can display up till this one but the rest i can remove okay and here uh, this uh, this one is also not required at all okay this one is enough okay so here also like image here the path we are going to give the path banner path we are going to give here okay banner id is fine and here we are going to give the path complete path we are going to give like image source where the banners are located uh, uh, i'm going to do one other thing like uh, in image i'm going to give okay fine uh, so here i'm going to give set okay and here front images banners and then uh, we are going to close this one and then dollar banner then banner image of the banner that is the name of the banner okay and we are going to close it like this like okay so this is the source okay image source fine now uh, we will also provide its links so if someone wants to open uh, this banner complete banner uh, means the bigger image of the banner then he will do it like this srif here also we are going to give url and in url uh, we are going to give this one uh, the same uh, okay like this and then okay so here uh, we are going to close this link and here we are going to give this style to show the small image of the banner okay because we don't have that much uh, space to sh uh, to show the complete banner image but we will uh, the admin can able to click on the link to see the full view of the banner okay so after that type of the banner banner type so this one is not required after banner type banner link and banner title banner link and finally banner title okay and this one we will keep the same 
and now few more changes we are going to see see still we can't able to assess the banner it will show some issues some roles issue I, I think yeah there are other issues as well uh, so we have not included the banner model so we need to include the banner model here use app sorry app models banner model we are going to include the banner model and other than this uh, banners module yeah banner module uh, see we need to like uh, i'm going to open the brand controller and here we are going to copy this one for the uh, for the module permission okay we are going to paste it uh, somewhere we are going to paste it here for the permission and here i'm going to uh, write like uh, i'm going to click this one and here i am going to give a banners okay set permission for the banners and here we're going to make change here brand to banner and here other than this anything else we can check it once i don't think fine now okay so i'm going to check here some other error admins role we are going to add admins role here admins role okay and i'm going to check once again auth auth we need to add as well use auth so let's check once again this time banners module yeah banners module we need to uh, return it as well like this let's check once again and now this time it is working fine and you can see but the image is not coming okay but the other things are coming here image is not coming because we need to put the banners we need to create the folder as well okay in public we will create the folder as well as add the banners here public front images and here the banners must come okay so the banners will come here and the banners we are going to add from the template uh, we have the banners these banners i'm going to copy these banners will add up here these banners and now we are going to check here the banners will come up here you can see the banners are coming now now we able to display the banners here and left sidebar we are going to modify we are going to show the banners at the left sidebar as well uh, but let's first of all uh, also work on active inactive and as well as the delete functionality okay so uh, for the active inactive we are going to create the route for the active inactive in the same way and for the delete functionality as well i'm going to copy this one to save the time okay so we don't have that much time uh, we will go at the fast pace i hope you will be able to catch me okay update banner status uh, this delete banner banner controller i'm going to modify this brand's controller as well and then i'm going to update the uh, here uh, instead of brand i'm going to modify it to the banner okay update banner status and delete banner okay so uh, inside brand controller i'm going to copy uh this one this update banner status as well as the uh see first of all we are going to update this update uh update status okay after that we are going to work with the delete as well so here i'm going to copy this one and this one i am going to select uh, this uh, a case sensitive thing and then i will make it update banner and here instead of brand i'm going to make it uh, uh, banner okay here banner and also i will include in custom.js file i'm going to include that uh, uh, that uh, uh, banner uh, status okay so like we have the category status i'm going to copy this one and we'll convert it to the banner status as well i'm going to paste it like this and here i'm going to modify it to the banner okay like this and here as well category i'm going to update to the banner fine now we are going to check here active inactive i'm going to make it inactive both the banners and um, i have made inactive see it's working fine i'm going to make it active as well uh, yeah it is working fine active also working fine inactive also working fine so also we are going to work on the delete functionality for the banner okay for the delete functionality uh we not only uh require to delete the entry but also we are required to delete the banner from the banners folder okay so two things we are required to do so we are going to create its function here in banners controller okay so let's create it 
like uh, uh, we want to delete the uh, banner also from the folder as well as from the database okay lead banner dollar id banner id okay so here i'm going to fetch the banner detail first of all get banner image for getting the banner image i'm going to take one variable and we'll fetch it from the banner table id here we can use it first also okay after getting the uh, banner image we will get the banner path as well get banner image path here we will get the banner image path at the front images banners okay so after getting banner image path now lead banner uh, image sorry uh, if uh, if existing folder okay and here if file exist then uh, here it will come uh, dollar banner image path and after that uh, dollar banner image itself will come here image yes that means in a name of the image of the banner okay so uh, here we are going to unlink these are the php function both uh, file exist and unlink okay if file if banner image exists then we are going to remove the banner image from the folder okay then the same path will come up here from where we are going to remove the banner okay path and the banner image name okay so this one like this and also we are going to uh, delete banner complete banner image with all the details banner image details as well as the details the banner image from banners table so this one like banner then then the same thing we are going to do like banner this one we are going to copy this one very simple and here instead of first we are going to add lead okay and finally we are going to return redact okay return redact back okay here we will write return redact back or simply return redact to the, to the admin banners we are going to return redact back to the banners page with the success message with success message and in success message we are going to write like uh, banner letter successfully done so let's see let's delete the banner make sure that uh, they are in uh, banners blade file we have added a confirmed lead this is common jquery function lead banner fine and here record banner and banner id so everything seems to be fine so we can uh, see sweat alert we have already uh, integrated in the beginning of the series uh, yes delete it it will delete if uh, if uh, incidentally the client uh, clicks it by mistake then he can click on cancel and if he is sure about deleting the banner then he will click on yes delete it see the banner has been deleted so both active and inactive as well as the delete functionality for the banner is working fine now okay so in the next video we are going to work on the add edit banner functionality and also we are going to modify the left sidebar for the banners so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye